Hello everyone and welcome back to Erin and my Let's Play uh, Mabinogi. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry it took me so long to get this video done, but I haven't really had the time to sit down and record. Uh, also, I currently have quite a bad cold, so my voice might sound a bit strange. Uh, anyway, today, uh, when I logged in, I got this new uh, quest, Sense of Loss. I really don't want to do this yet, because I it's from the latest generation, and I can't actually fin uh, continue it after a certain point, because I'm not strong enough. And I wanted to do one generation at a time. But since I'm going to need to talk to Duncan and various other NPCs, uh, it's for some reason gonna make me do that. I can't choose which one it takes. So while we wait for day to come, since you can only go to the bear and give it the herbs during the day, we might as well get through the NPC part of this. I was hoping you would have time to stop by. Is it true about your battle with the lost hero? N not yet. Thing is, the things here uh, haven't happened yet, things that they mentioned, so... I'm just gonna speed through this because a lot of it won't make any sense anyway. And if you want to read it you can just pause the video and read it through because I'm not interested in sitting reading through it when it doesn't have anything to do with what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not on that generation yet, so... I'm just gonna get through these so I can wait for time to pass, I suppose. No, I don't have to worry about that until I get to Dumby. So, alright, there's a cutscene. With the mad guy. There we go. And I'm not gonna go talk to Crystal. I'm just gonna walk up to where I'm supposed to go and and wait. I have to think. I have to wait until it's six a.m. or something in game until the bear is gonna be there. So, for those of you who don't remember, we started Generation 1 last time. And so, I'm gonna g need to go and give mana, bear er mana herbs to a bear at uh, the very top of... top of Ulad, uh, this continent. And, uh, yeah not much else going on right now because I don't have any other quests. So we're just gonna go ahead.
And I just realized this poor girl has to run barefoot on through snow, but... Oh well, she probably won't suffer from it. Right, I can't even go that far uh, until it's daytime. So, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, I'll see, uh, see you when it becomes day again, I guess. Hello again, and uh, it is now daytime, and I've already gone through the gate, so I'm on the other side. And we're gonna go up and meet the bear. These paths are ridiculously long, but never mind that. There we go, there's the altar. And there is the bear. Bear is enormous and gazes at you with bright eyes. It sniffs the air and looks around as if searching for something. Its breath come out, comes in steamy puffs, and it claws the ground from time to time. Grrr. The bear is writing something in the snow. Tar... Tarlac. The bear writes the word tarlac and stares at you. Tarlac. It seems to be someone's name. Right. And I'm just gonna go up here and get this on my map because the walk is ridiculous and um, because now we're gonna need to go back to talk to Duncan again. But I'm just gonna use the return stone because this is the walk back and forth is just ridiculous. So there we go. And go this way. Tarlac. Did you say Tarlac? One of the three missing warriors. Duncan seems shocked. I've always wondered about that bear. I never thought it could truly be Tarlac. Long ago, three adventurers actually went to Ternanog to rescue the black-winged goddess and bring paradise to this world. But none of them ever returned. Hence they were known as the Three Missing Warriors. Tarlac was one of them. It's been so long. Could it really be him? Talk to Stuart at the school in Dumbarton. He knows the legend better. If you have anything else to ask, let me know. Not right now. Thank you.
Alright, let's go to Dumby. Uh, let's just... let me just, just see what quests we have. Reach level 20, talk to Crystal, talk to Tracy. Tracy we can talk to on the way to Dumbarton. Uh, Sion, I'm not gonna go to Bangor just yet. And then talk to Stuart. Right. So we don't have any more quests in this village, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Get going! And I think this is the first time we've left Tichanel since I started this, so we'll get to see what's outside of this village. We've been here, though. It's where we uh, fought the wolves. Oh, come on. Can't you run a little bit faster? Okay, so right now we entered the logging camp, uh, which is where Tracy is, uh, who we need to talk to. It's about halfway between Terchanel and Dumbarton. So we're just gonna go talk to him. Hey, I'm Tracy, the Lumberjack. When I say hi, I say it right. What, you have something to say? Hey, welcome, welcome. I'm Tracy, you knew that, right? Don't tell me you didn't. I'm a famous fellow around here, you know. Anyway, I brought you here to teach you something very useful, so don't look at me like that. <laughs> I can honestly say I am a great actor. Oh, really? I do enjoy the occasional mix-up that happens with my amazing acting skills. Most of all, it's a skill that helps me stay alive in times of grave danger. What I'm saying is, when you are faced with a ridiculously powerful enemy, you can actually act to get out of trouble. You know how, to do, how I do it? By playing dead. When you get knocked back after a big hit, just act like you're unconscious. The monster will be tricked into thinking you're really knocked unconscious and will soon, lo soon lose interest in you. Of course, you'll need to play dead long enough for the monster to actually fall for it. That's the key. So, what do you think? Do you want to try it out and see if your acting skills match mine? You'll know whether you can act or not by completing this quest. Well, acting dead in the middle of town square sounds like fun too, no? Ha <laughs> Have fun with the skill for me, okay? He he's talks kind of annoying with a lot of drawn out words. You got any other business with me? No, I don't. Not right now. You have gained knowledge about the play dead skill. And I don't think that's actually a proper skill, it's an action. Yeah, it's an action. So we're gonna put it there and I'm gonna we're gonna try it out just for laughs. Whoa. 
yeah. And she's dead. She's actually... It actually looks a lot like she's acting. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Anyway, we learned it. There are a few actions like that that could come in handy from time to time, but I rarely use them because I kind of forget they exist uh, unless they're, they're needed for an event or uh, something like that, like rock throw. Uh, I usually forget they exist. And we're going to run the rest of the way. And we're on the final stretch. We should soon be able to see Dumbarton from in front of us here. So we're just gonna keep running for a little bit longer. And see where how long it takes. <laughs> Okay, there it is. There's the trading point and the wall. And now we're gonna go in and talk to Stuart. So he can tell us more about the three missing warriors. Welcome to Dumpy. I am um, just gonna go straight to the school because this is ki you can kind of see the main part of the city from here. It's the square, there's the bank, um, clothing shop, a general store. Yeah, and up, I think it's up behind here, there's a church, and we have, uh, we passed a bookstore down here, so, there's a little bit of everything in this town, it's a bit bigger than uh, Tio Chanel, but, yeah. And this is the school. They've got trees inside. I don't remember. No, right, you can't check the trees. Oh, and there's blue one on that side. So, the entire place goes in a bit of a red and blue theme. And there we have Stuart. Hmm, how can I help you? The three missing warriors? The ones who are said to have gone to Ternanog? I see. There was a time when scholars debated back and forth regarding the val validity of that legend. From what I remember, there were stories of Ternanog circulating via word of mouth, but there weren't any written records of it. In the end, it was concluded that it was only a rumor. So it's just a legend. What do I think? 
I believe in the legend of the three missing warriors. Ha! <laughs> I'm no fool, though. I'm not sure if what I just gave you will be of any help. It's a locket, you know, an accessory that you put pictures in. Don't be surprised. This is actually a memento that belonged to Tarlac, the mighty wizard, one of the three missing warriors. Yes, the picture of the boy in the locket is Tarlac. This was probably from when he was young. Judging from how old she is, the pretty girl next to him is probably his sister. That's not all, though. This locket, it's a type of mem a memorial item that allows you to experience the life of the person who used to own it. Tarlac spent his entire life trying to rescue the goddess who holds the secrets of Tirnanog. His desires and memories remain in this locket. Try placing this on the altar to the goddess inside Albi Dungeon. So it's time for the RP Dungeon. And I'm not going to do that dungeon today because I there is not time. Uh, it takes a bit of, takes a bit of time, and so I'm not going to do that today. But I am gonna go talk to Crystal and get back to Terchanel to uh, uh, and place myself so I can start the RP dungeon next time. Hopefully next video will not take as long uh, because I should probably I should have more time to uh, to record in peace and quiet um, but we it should not be as long, but I hope so at least. So there we go. And all right, and we get out. Yeah, right where I needed to go. Because there is a moon gate out here. I am not running all the way back to Tirchinel. I do not have the patience for that. So I am going to use the moon gate. We just run ran this distance. So... Um, I'm not interested in doing that again immediately, so. There we go. And we're gonna get up well I'm just gonna end it here and run up to Albi Dungeon afterwards uh, because you've already seen the that route and uh, nothing very interesting is gonna happen on the way um, anyway uh, thank you for watching today and uh, just like I said ho uh, hopefully the next video won't take as long and I'll see you then bye